What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's reading, I'm going to be looking at who is your soul tribe and how you can attract them. So most importantly, each deck will have a lot of traits, a lot of characteristic uh, ways that you and your soul tribe have in common, and how to detect if this person is a part of your tribe. So if you guys are a part of Tarot Tribe and have been with me from the jump, it's been about two years since I started the channel. Shout out to all of you who are part of the Tarot Tribe. Also, if you guys have found yourself waiting for more pick a card readings you can find some secret pick a card readings at the tarotchest.com where i am going to be posting weekly frequent videos on just secret messages from higher self that maybe you guys will need in the time that you guys are seeking more guidance and clarity last but not least if you are looking for a community where you can collaborate with other people who consider themselves to be light workers so anyone who is a light worker is here to bring truth freedom the light in dark places in the world if you find yourself wanting to serve others in a place of light then most likely you are a light worker. And if that is the case, then you might be interested in joining the Soul Journey webinar that I'm doing every month. Last topic was activating your power, which was extremely powerful. You can still find all that information on my website, thetarotpriest.com. Also, I only have one Instagram page. I know that there's a lot of scamming going around. So the tarot priest exactly spelled the way it is, is going to be my correct handle. There have been people who have been reaching out. If anyone has reached out to you on behalf of me, it probably was not me. And I apologize for that. So if you're here, it's definitely because you're interested in finding and meeting your soul tribe. So yeah, if you guys are part of the tarot tribe, then you're all about embracing love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. So anything that you find here is going to be some deep spiritual messages. So welcome to the channel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe, like the video and also comment which tribe is yours so that you guys can connect with other people in the comments because most likely if you guys are choosing the same exact deck then that means that this is probably going to be your soul tribe all right if you guys are here there are four decks that you could choose from we have deck number one which is the yellow tribe deck number two which is the green tribe deck number three which is the purple tribe and deck number four which is the blue tribe now last but not least if you guys are and probably will be connected to two decks definitely go back and listen to both because if that's the case you could certainly be a light worker or here to serve humanity for the higher good all right let's jump into the reading and see who is your soul tribe and how to attract them all right if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading in who is your soul tribe so if you guys chose deck number one, this is the yellow tribe. And this tribe is going to be led by the ancestor of the Holy Spirit. So pretty deep already. So if you guys got this deck, then you could definitely be connected to spirituality or being on the path to spirituality. So your guys' soul tribe is heavily connected to love, also connected to spirit. Okay. So anytime we see the Holy Spirit, this is definitely going to be on a much higher frequency. So this community that you have energetically could also have dealt with anxiety, depression, could be coming from uh, a place of just, just trying to find their path. I definitely feel like if you guys are resonating with deck one, then your tribe is kind of waking up to spirituality. It feels like an initiation of understanding more of what that is, and then also being free mentally. So a lot of peace is what I'm feeling with your tribe. Now, let's get some more characteristic traits on the energy of this tribe. Door to romance, we have 33. And then we also have hostilities. So I believe that your soul tribe is not gonna be coming from a place of anxiousness. It's not gonna be a hostile environment. Most of the connections that you're gonna have in your soul tribe are meant to be of peace, of ease and tranquility. So I definitely feel like you guys are coming from a place of where things may have been hostile. And then also just with the anxiety, dealing with a lot of things mentally. So this person will have found their path through love through truth i mean they could just now be starting the brink of initiation so you guys could be seeing 11 11 i know that we have 33 here but 111 and i'm definitely feeling like the initiation into spirituality so this is going to be someone who is finding their way basically and if you feel like you're finding your way then you guys are kind of on that same um that same attraction and that same frequency death we have scorpio energy so I let go and embrace new beginnings. So yeah, a lot of you are clearing energy around your relationships, okay? I'm getting a lot of base chakra stuff. Relationships, friendship, employment ships, um, people, community. A lot of you are learning how to let go of how you thought friendship used to be or should be and following more people who are gonna tell you the truth 
about your potential, your greatness and what you can achieve. So your soul tribe is definitely going to be new and fresh. So they're not going to be like the friends that you used to have. Um, they're not going to be struggling where as, you know, maybe in the past they could have been struggling with anxiousness and, and learning how to break free from hostilities. These people that you're connecting to want generally peace and love. Okay, more on this soul tribe. Creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Okay, so yeah, your soul tribe is heavily connected to wanting to be home, longing. So if you guys have been longing for this deeper connection with people, with community, you're on the right track. You actually are manifesting um, some soul tribe members here. I definitely feel like some of you very, very quickly, maybe in the next few weeks, I'm seeing that you may meet someone who feels like you've known them for a long time, but you've just now meeting them. So you know their soul. So creating heaven on earth, it's happening. This basically means that you are coming home um, to yourself as you come home to yourself, meaning as you be your true self, you are going to attract your community. And I feel like you guys already are attracting your community. We also have, I am supported and never alone, the five of pentacles. So your soul tribe is essentially you. And if I'm describing some of the things that you've went through, then your soul tribe also has come from this place. And I believe is also longing for deeper connection, even with you. So you're not alone. Second time here. So some of you could definitely be going through the path of feeling like you you are alone. Maybe nobody understands you. Um, maybe no one's really resonating, really connecting deeply on that level that's getting ready to change. You are creating that right now. And you're creating that by letting go of what you do not want in your friendships, in your community, okay? And that's anxiety, that's drama, that's hostilities, okay? So this time you are, spirit is like basically releasing that in your life is going to attract a higher frequency uh, of friends. So these people that you're attracting are a part of your community, okay? They, they're gonna feel like you've known them for a long time. How are you gonna attract them? True manifestations are powered by service and love, okay? So this person and your people are looking for more. They don't know exactly what that could be because I feel like, again, you guys are just now starting this spiritual journey. And even then so, you know, even myself, I'm constantly evolving. We're always constantly evolving. So I'm feeling like you're gonna manifest these people by going to a place where you feel good about serving, by, by helping people. You're gonna manifest your soul tribe by following what you love to do and what you love. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling like you're gonna manifest something very, very soon here. But in order for the new to come in, the old must be released. And I'm seeing that that's old friendships. And you will not believe some of the connections that you're going to manifest here soon. Again, remember that only love is real. Okay, so you're gonna attract them through love. Your community cares about love. They care about peace. They care about community. So if you are isolated right now or have been isolated, I definitely feel like that's shifting, but it's almost like spirit wanted you to find yourself and your connection to spirit before other people, because I feel like you're learning how to trust your own direction and trust your own guidance and not allowing the community to persuade you. You're learning how to have that balance, okay? We have the Knight of Cups here. We have the chariot, we're taking all upright. We have cancer energy. So you could be a cancer, could be a Scorpio. So yeah, things are moving forward here. We have two movement cards, the chariot, and we also have the Knight of cups. So the more you follow what you love to do, the more you're gonna find those people there. Some of you I'm hearing like painting, um, you know how they have the sip and paint. There's like certain activities, um, the spiritual store for some of you who are looking for more people with depth who are into this type of stuff, you know, tarot and candles and sage. Obviously you're gonna find many people in the places that you're desiring to be. I also feel like there's Sagittarius energy here too, okay? So we have Sagittarius, we have Libra, uh, we have Scorpio, okay? So we do have a lot of zodiac signs here on the board and we have Justice. So it's like you had to really find yourself and move forward from many things so that true manifestations of love can come in, okay? And also, what else do you need to do to attract this soul tribe? I let the universe catch up with my dreams, okay? So ultimately, your dream is community. Your dream is you love to be with people, um, obviously with good energy and understanding that you're never alone. But the people 
can never replace the spiritual connection because that spirit connection is always going to be there. That's why we have spirit has your back. Before you could find your community, it was important that you found your own spiritual connection because that's what's also like going to lead you to the right people on that same frequency. Bigger picture thinking. Pleiades energy. So you guys could definitely be a star seed, could definitely be connected to the Pleiades children. You're being led by the Holy Spirit, which tells me that you are being led by miracles. You're being led by light. Uh, you're seeing the good in things, justice and truth is important. Okay. These are all the important things to your community here and people service to people. Your community really, really enjoys just being together in love. So if you do have connections that are not in alignment with that, you'll feel that they're very rocky. Even during this time, you may even felt like this year, 2020 and 2021, again, this is a timeless reading, but could have been a very, very challenging time for you to find community. Cause I'm seeing with the anxiety and the hostilities, it's like, you know, who are my people? Where do I belong? That's what I'm feeling. So you guys are definitely coming home, but home is to self first. And then also, um, on earth. So heavy, beautiful, spiritual energy here and spirit again spirituality is just being in tune with your soul and following what you love as you're following those things things are coming in okay people are coming in so the bigger picture thinking visionary inspired ideas so your community is going to be inspired with ideas they're going to want to see more for themselves they're going to have visions they might be dreamers okay now what does your soul tribe like to do sweet treat so eat treats <laughs> sweets anything with the bakings you know we have fruit here a lot to eat so community eating getting together um in a place where everyone loves like there's just so much beauty and harmony and unity that i'm seeing in your tribe what else does your tribe like to do connect with the earth so your tribe loves to be in nature. We have a lot of earth, 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 mother earth could be into holistic things, could be in just nature in general. We have crystals here. It could want to just, I, when I'm getting earth, I'm also just getting peace. Your soul tribe is just in a place where there's just, it's like no bullshit. It's just peace. Everything is just harmonious here with this soul tribe that you're connecting with in beauty rituals. So your guys's soul tribe could definitely be into certain rituals, beauty, painting, tattoos, artistic okay i'm definitely feeling a lot of those type of vibes from your spirituality i'm definitely feeling those vibes with your soul tribe here is you know just expression of self is very important just being able to express yourself and it seems like your tribe does that through nature um so you could meet people at the park we have a lot of nature here it could be people by the water um but i also feel like your spirit is going to lead you to this group that's why it's very important that you have that connection and it is your community and it is your soul tribe okay we have musia prada i don't know how to pronounce that first name musia prada strike while the mar market is hot apply your pattern to the bigger picture there's that word again the phrase the big picture so remember that now is only temporary but there's a bigger picture with community and love and harmony and people who are on the same uh, frequency as you the same level as you uh, they want more and they also are desiring for new things to come so they could struggle with the past i also feel like some of these soul tribe members are from your past life as well um, but focusing on the bigger picture, what is the bigger picture? In this sense, it's creating heaven on earth. It's happiness, okay? It's bringing happiness here, being happy now. Um, and, and then also being able to share that happiness. It's one thing to have it, but then also to be able to have the people that you feel comfortable and trust to share it. You are attracting that. We're going to get some more information on that. So wear many hats, but design them all. So many of you could get into designing um, fashion, beauty, I'm definitely seeing now, even if you're a man, it could be that you care about your shoes, you care about your watches, you care about your jewelry. So I definitely feel um, like this is a, just a place of prestige. Like I do see that your tribe believes that they're worthy of more and there's nothing wrong with that. Anything else for the tribe and when this is happening? Let's look at the next few years, few months. Yeah, magician, the sun, I love it. 10 of swords. It's like something has to end something has to end let's get some clarity on what this is ten of swords for deck one yellow judgment it's a spiritual awakening so you guys are going through a spiritual awakening and have been so with the judgment here is your calling and whoever the the tribe is they are coming from the lynx and the sea turtle okay so just breaking all of this down 
after you go through a spiritual awakening, you're going to be a completely different person, which means you're going to manifest people that are on a different frequency as you. As you evolve, the people around you uh, should evolve. And if they do, it's usually because they are part of your soul tribe. In this sense, your soul tribe is definitely loving to take time out of the world. They love to be in nature. Now, if you have not got to this place in your life, it's happening after the spiritual awakening. So right now you are manifesting happiness. The sun card is here. This is the happiest card in the deck and then also the magician. So you are manifesting more joyful connection that are easy okay that's what I'm hearing that are easy supportive it feels good okay nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing so you know maybe having trust issues with certain people that's going to be cleared away because again you have a knowing to know if this is your soul tribe or not and you'll know because it, they resonate so deeply with your soul okay it says you can see other secrets and you keep them sacred in silence and solitude you will find your strength so this person could definitely be into yoga into meditating into walking the mountains into nature into exploration into water um into the ocean islands i'm definitely getting that you are the master of finding life's flow be in harmony with the rhythm persevere and you will succeed you have everything you need to be protected and happy okay so your soul tribe and loves journey they love the adventure of seeing and exploring things we have the sea turtles being in the water we have the water here just exploring and being happy is all the happy tribe is what i would call deck number one and obviously you can resonate with many things and every tribe is about happiness but the entire purpose of this tribe is just joy and peace and unity and harmony and so this tribe is going to make you feel protected they're going to remind you that you're safe they're going to speak words from the universe words that make you feel good encouraging this okay so you are manifesting this in your life because spirit sees that the community is necessary however there was an ending that needed to occur and it's mostly in your mind and and where you're blocking this from happening now your angel message for this tribe is manifestation Okay, guys, it's 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 what it is. Spirit is really saying very clearly that you're in the process of manifesting more connections that have uh, more of a firmer base of joy that are not um, bringing you worry and bringing you stress and anxiety. And so you're learning how to let those people go and make room for the new. So if you guys chose the yellow tribe, deck number one, this is definitely your tribe. They're coming in very soon. I'm feeling like within the next year, you may meet someone very significant to your soul tribe. And this person or these people are definitely going to help you learn more and become more of yourself. So they're going to help you embrace yourself rather than being afraid to be yourself that's a huge thing i'm seeing so if you guys are looking for a secret pick of card readings you can find them at the tarot chest don't forget to hashtag down below the yellow tribe if you guys are part of this tribe so you can connect with all the other people who are also resonating with this stone so moving on to deck number two all right if you guys chose deck number two this is your reading in who is your soul tribe so if you guys resonated with this stone the green stone your ancestor that's leading this tribe is odin the psychic insight so heavy 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 third eye energy so your spiritual group your soul tribe is definitely going to be connected to wanting to open or decalcify their third eye what this is is just your spiritual eye so it's nothing scary it's just simply being able to see spiritually as you see he only has one eye the other one is um it looks like he's blind but it's like you really don't need your physical eyes as much as you do your spiritual eye. And so you're learning the importance of that and also seeing truth for what it is, following your intuition. Your soul tribe is all about the intuition and the feels. It can be empathic. Um, they could definitely resonate with psychic abilities. Um, they could feel like something's there, but not exactly sure what to call it. Um, they may not even know they're psychic, but they still are. So let's get some more energy on this soul tribe the garden and the gate so i love this so the garden and the gate is symbolic we have the butterflies here so your people your soul tribe definitely have undergone some form of transformation whereas i felt like deck one is still kind of going through their their major spiritual awakenings this deck for sure has already experienced some sort of spiritual awakening on this level so they believe that the garden and the gate, they believe that they can have fulfillment. They want and desire self-fulfillment. Your tribe desires joy, um, but most importantly, self-fulfillment. And I'm also feeling like it could be abundance. And it's not just prosperity, like it's not just money. It's also just abundance in health 
and abundance in mm, experience is what I would say. Abundance and experience wants to experience many things. Um, your soul tribe, even right now, um, again, this is a timeless reading, but they could be in a period of rest. They could be in a period of rejuvenation because I do feel like if you resonate with this deck, you could be a server or you could be someone who wants to help people or helps many people. So we have the three of cups. I embrace joyful opportunities. So this is part of, again, your soul tribe, three of the cups. And we also have temperance which is Sagittarius energy I find clarity through the calm so this is the second time we're getting the temperance which tells me that when you connect with self you will attract your most purest soul tribe so as you evolve this evolution that you're coming to this higher frequency is a frequency that is going to attract your soul tribe okay and that comes through yourself being your true authentic self is going to attract those people those are the people who are going to say hey who are you what do you do like, oh, you look interesting or wow, I don't know. There's something about you. And I do feel like uh, there's a unique energy that you have around you that attracts many people to you. The more you are in tune with yourself and what you want, the more that radiates. So I'm seeing a lot of community in the sense of celebration. So with the three of cups, this is a lot of happy times that you'll have with your soul tribe in the sense of celebration. Communion is something I'm hearing as well. Let's get the energy, continue to get the energy of your soul tribe. Satoshi Tajiri. So, to, to, okay. Satoshi Tajiri. Teach your pet project new tricks. Play the game like you invented it. If you've created a monster, license it. So, your soul tribe could definitely be into entrepreneurship can also be into streaming, could be into um, anything digital. That's another thing as well. Let's get some more information on what they may enjoy doing. Your soul tribe will enjoy drinking water, hydrating, so they care about themselves in the sense of being aware. So this is going to be people who care about their wellness. And that's what I was getting earlier. Like it's, it's an abundance of health. You want, your soul tribe wants the fullest experience here on earth. Like, give it all to me. Whatever is uh, righteously deserved to me, I want that. And I want to experience that. That's what the soul tribe is saying. So they care about, um, you know, their self, their body. They could also be into tattoos or henna. The henna tattoos are just expressing themselves creatively on their bodies, right? So definitely can be very creative. Yeah, because we have it here again. Make an altar. So they could definitely be into meditating, that's huge here. And uh, meditating doesn't have to be so traditional and religious. This is just simply someone who is in tune and aware of what they want in their life. Okay. Also deep breathing. So yeah, they're definitely into just being tranquil and being connected to the universe. They could be into mystical things. Green tribe. Give us some more information on this soul tribe. The green tribe definitely definitely the calm look at this water water emotional they could definitely be an empath information on the soul tribe knight of wheels queen of swords so they definitely stand up for what they believe in okay this is another this is a very strong group of people they could be advocates they're very very strong in what they believe in um they don't really move fast when it comes to trying to hurry up and make things happen in their life. Even meeting their soul tribe, I just, just genuinely feel like they care about quality and they take their time when it comes to just manifesting certain things. Like they don't really rush that. More information on the soul tribe. Yeah, they have experience in... Uh, infliction but most of it has been self-infliction a lot of self-sabotage this group has really been their biggest critic um has overcome that so again if i'm describing you then essentially you know this is your soul tribe because you guys have many of the same things that you've experienced so a lot of this has been self-inflicted sabotage um or not just not feeling uh not knowing the truth about oneself and and what you deserve here on earth like there have been a lot of battles that, this, that your soul tribe has been through. And the cool thing is that they're not turning their back to this. They're actually wanting to help other people. So more information on this soul tribe. 
four of swords right now they could definitely be resting we have rest twice here so i don't feel like you might find your soul tribe out you know hanging out with a bunch of people they could definitely be off to themselves doing meditation could be stretching could be in nature you could find them over by a tree um just kind of like taking their breath and just really connecting um these your soul tribe is not really in a place of a lot of social activity as you see there's not a lot of people around and the only person that we have here is the inner critic with the five of swords so i do think that they kind of are a homebody they spend time alone and i do think it's because they absorb a lot of energy from others now let's see um more about this a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision so yeah definitely light worker if you guys chose this deck and that just means that you're here to bring love you're here for a bigger purpose you kind of feel that um and i definitely feel like this new earth is forming um even as we speak and it's happening and you're you and your soul tribe are learning how to hold the vision of what you want so long enough so that it can manifest so you are learning like a higher level of manifestation your soul tribe is learning how to also attract you so if you're looking for them they're looking for you right now that's what i'm seeing you guys are trying to get on the same frequency it's kind of like a channel if you ever turn like a radio station you guys are trying to tune into that same frequency and that same frequency is it seems like it's coming from a place where it's rest you have clarity you trust yourself you follow those feelings when I live and act from a place of spiritual alignment, which is feeling good, I can trust that everything is working out for me, even if I don't know when, how it will happen. So this is a lot of trust. Your soul tribe has, you know, your people feel like leaders. <laughs> like if I were to give you some avatar character traits, it would be that they could be like the oldest sibling. They could be very responsible. They seem very independent. You guys could have also been going back and forth between the purple stone. If that is you and you were feeling that, go back and watch that. That's your confirmation. I'm definitely feeling a lot of independence here, a lot of freedom. Um, and I'm also feeling like just having this trust and faith in spirit like these this soul tribe is a very unique tribe um they had to figure things out on their own and they've been strong for themselves for a long time how to attract these people in your life begin to practice allowing i must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction so letting your spirit guide you to these people and through this is again being your truest authentic self and being in a place of clarity so that you can clearly be yourself and also have a clear insight of where you're going or what you desire this is what's going to attract your soul tribe also i'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me so this is a deeper level like the last level before this community comes together is the connection with your spirit guide a connection with source universe or god understanding that that guidance to what you desire doesn't matter if it's a soulmate it doesn't matter if it's a home if you're it's your soul tribe you have the guidance that's going to lead you there so as you're following this insight and what feels good it's going to lead you right to your soul community and that's because they will be doing the same thing so as they're focusing on what feels good and which is being in alignment with with source all of you are just kind of coming together on that frequency so you're going to be expecting definitely a miracle when it comes to your soul tribe and in the people you met i even feel like you might meet people from across the world and it's like how did this happen and that's how you're going to know it was the work of the universe share your voice so whoever this person is they definitely could care about justice they can care about truth um speaking up i definitely feel like i resonate heavily with this group i would say this is definitely part of my soul tribe if you guys are choosing this group um, share your voice come out of the cave so this is speaking your truth and being yourself i definitely feel like you could be connected to social media um, could have a lot of inventions could have a lot of ideas um, entrepreneurship wise and i definitely feel like the more you express yourself the more that people are going to subscribe to you the real people but it's like when you're your most true self the people who subscribe to you you know that that's your tribe because you are being your true authentic self and if they still subscribe they're your tribe that's how i feel about that so definitely coming out of the cave and sharing your voice and don't be afraid to be different or weird <laughs> that's what i'm learning as well don't be afraid to be different or weird because we all are very very unique in our own way inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart so your heart is going to lead you there um, to the people and again this soul tribe that you're 
you're connecting, they have a lot of devotion. So they're going to have a lot of inspiration. They're going to be motivated. They're going to be motivated to either change the world. They're going to be motivated to experience amazing things here. They're going to be motivated for that. Now, the animal they resonate the most with is the fox and the hummingbirds. Can't make this up. Miracles. I'm telling you guys, this is just so cool because you, you cannot do this alone. Okay, you cannot do this alone, meaning that spirit, okay, these some of these soul tribe members are across the world. You've never even met him before. Some of them don't have social media. So the universe is going to come in and allow that to happen. You are the joy bringer, you bless the world with positivity and love. Okay, so when you're being your joyful self, you're attracting this. Energy soars on the shining wings, spread the miracle of happiness. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. So whoever your tribe is, they're just like you. They follow their instincts. They're open to romance. Resources surround them. Okay, they just have, they have favor on their life. They have blessings on their life. And that's also you as well. So last but not least is cut the cords. So your angel message for you, tribe, green green tribe is to cut the cords and to cut the cords of what let's get one card now if it's the swords again because you got a lot of sword energy this would be mental things so what what are they cutting the cords before this soul tribe can manifest thank you nine of cups following your passions this is a wish come true okay this person is in the palace so i definitely feel like your people could enjoy material things and in the finer things which there's nothing wrong with that so all in all your guys' soul tribe is definitely believing your soul tribe believes in miracles believes in happiness believes in freedom and is not afraid to be alone in the sense of independence because they do have the strength they've been through a lot they're very creative i see that they have in inventions or ideas and they also care about connecting with spirit and allowing spirit to guide them. So I, I feel as though these people that you're going to meet are going to be in divine timing and that's going to be with the help of the universe. So if you guys are looking for more secret messages, you can find that at thetarotchest.com. Don't forget to hashtag down below the green tribe so that you guys can connect with other people who also resonated with the green. Most importantly, that could be your soul tribe. So this could be the moment that you've been waiting for to connect with people just like you who have the same vision for where you want to be. So moving on to deck number three if you guys chose deck number three this is your reading and who is your soul tribe so purple tribe you are being led by ancestor green Terra. supreme protection you are protected cords are being cut move beyond limitation and trust this is reminding me of the webinar that i'm getting ready to teach if you guys can make it or if you can't you can stream it later we're going to be talking all about spiritual protection, which is why I have my black candle lit here. I've had it lit for quite some time now based on the energy of the world, just kind of clear that that negative energy. So cords are being cut even right now as you guys are listening to this reading. I definitely feel like you are being heavily protected by a higher entity, a higher source. Okay, they're showing me angels. They're also showing me this light that's within you. Um, the light that's within you shines so bright that anything like evil, demonic, negative, whatever, you know, the lower frequency things that many people talk about, then that means that that light is basically is what kills that. So that light is so bright for the people and the entities around you that you may feel like are dark. So I am lighting the candle uh, for spiritual protection if you guys are here. So that's not by coincidence either, just to let you know that you are safe. And I just keep hearing that you are safe. So your soul tribe is definitely um, and could definitely be gifted. I feel heavily that I connected with this deck as well. So I'm probably part of your soul tribe. Um, let's get a little bit more information on the energy of your soul tribe. We have the white stag and the cat independent. So your soul tribe is independent, free. You are a natural healer. So they're natural healers. They could be into Reiki. They can be into tarot. They can be into anything that has to do with above the 3d world above earth okay because we do have the purple which is definitely a royal color i like to use purple in a lot of my branding because it definitely symbolizes a, a higher level of royalty but that comes from a spiritual place so it's almost like spirit source god has given you 
this power and ability to be able to use and so you are protected very heavily because of that we have her third eye open here so many of you yeah could have experienced that your third eye is open how do you know you see truths that may many people don't see um so you're a natural healer and this tells me that you've been through many things and and the reason for that was for you to gain this strength of intuition and connection with spirit and source um so you don't have to go with the crowd so that's another thing is you probably are unique you probably stand out life supports you in every way but your life support comes from the universe comes from source and god i also feel like your your soul tribe is and has been connected with you in the past life, these will be very strong connections that you can trust. They will feel like they're pure. They're, they will feel like they're from a place of love. Also, I feel like it says your best friend is nature. Um, you are an old soul. So you could have felt like you've been here before, have experienced a lot of things. You know that because of wisdom. Sometimes it's like, how do you know that? And I feel like you also are very gifted in clear cognizance behavior. So that just basically means that you have the gift to know many things, okay? Without getting too technical, you can use your intuition to take you where you want to go, awaken the powerful source within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. So you are a magician if you're here. So your soul tribe is magician. They, they're open to magic and they understand that there's a force within them. This isn't going to be a soul tribe that's oblivious to this. Now, if they are oblivious to this, you'll know it's your soul tribe because you'll say something and it'll awaken something within them. And they're like, whoa, like, what did you just say? And then soul tribe, that's a confirmation as well. So another thing that resonates heavily is we have the Andromedian energy. The Andromedian energy, adventure, say yes to change. So I definitely feel like you are going through this change after you complete this transformation or change that you're going through. This is also what's going to attract your tribe. We have jump in and we have the eye here. So you're going to be using your spiritual eye to detect people. Um, it'll get to a point to where you can look at a crowd and you'll see their energy like red or orange, however it's displayed to you and however your guides communicate with you. And then you'll see a couple of greens and that lets you know, okay, those are my people. Those are my people. And how do you know that? It's by language. You can feel the energy. You can hear what someone is saying and feel good about recognizing them, their familiarity. All right. Messages about the soul tribe for deck three. Okay, we have the page of wands they're very curious to know more i do think they're into learning more like a lot of knowledge um, they like to be diligent when it comes to that um, i also see that they could be working independently a lot because they find themselves just not fitting in with many people um, and i do see that that's kind of one of their weaknesses is not allowing people to come closer and that is due to just having to be so independent. Could have raised their siblings, um, could definitely be the oldest sibling. You guys could have resonated with the green group because again, I'm getting the green and the purple very, very similar in, in the energies here. So this person, it definitely works independently but is desiring for more outside help now. So they're gonna be an old soul. They're gonna have a lot of wisdom. All right, so we have Taurus energy on the board here. Okay, um, definitely very strong in their beliefs. They could feel like they, in their past life, they were a shaman, lots of wisdom. They're a lot like you, very independent. Could definitely be intimidating at first, but I'm sensing it's because of their strength. I do see that this is something very soon that's happening that you're manifesting. And whoever this person is, they have dealt with a bit of a heartbreak and despair when it comes to trusting people. We have the three of swords here and the hangman. So changing their perspective, they've, that's what that's been some of their journey is to jump in and trust and change their perspective and understand that even you your journey doesn't have to be alone and i'm sensing that with the hangman changing your perspective is something that i'm hearing a lot with just your friendships and being open to see things differently walk away from what's no longer making you feel good you know those heavy conversations i talk a lot about when someone's calling the phone and you can feel their energy and you're like oh if I answer this, I'm going to be on the phone for a whole hour helping this. And like, there's nothing wrong with helping people, but I definitely sense that you are always the one to, to help or you're always the, the one that's kind of leading the pack. And so I'm definitely feeling like that's a good thing because it's developed strength and perseverance. But I also feel like it leaves room for just being so independent that the openness to others has been a little bit challenging. 
you know, just trusting others. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestation in motion. So spiritual alignment is to feel good. And in fact, feeling good is the same equivalent to feeling God. That's why many people say God is good because God is literally the energy of good. So when you feel good, you are feeling God. It's much deeper than just good. And we've overlooked it obviously, but this is where your spiritual alignment is. And spirit is saying, when you start to feel good about people coming in and helping and supporting and not making a bigger mess, or not bringing something that you feel like you have to protect yourself, but bringing trust and it's familiarity that that's when that will come in. So start to feel good about these connections and these people and the support that you deserve and the help that you deserve. Okay. My greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force. They come through freedom. So yeah, you're learning that this is not through force and control. Um, we never get anyone and we should never want to get anyone by forcing or controlling someone, but to allow them to find these people, your soul tribe, yourself, your compass of leadership, how, where, where your guide is that's leading you in life right that guide that compass is through freedom so when you're feeling free and you're feeling good is also when you're going to attract this soul tribe so your soul tribe is also definitely so independent and wise that it's like it does resonate a lot with who you're becoming okay perspective again none of this matters zoom out common ground so let's get some clarity on why this is here perspective why is perspective here the tower okay eight of swords yeah it's it's just some fears that you have that you're releasing when it comes to letting in your soul tribe we have the eight of swords here being able to fully be yourself this time and also just without judgment um you know the fear of things falling apart getting close to someone all of those fears that you are dealing with i do feel like you're releasing them so that you can make room because i'm seeing a journey here and the way that you're going to attract the soul tribe they care about freedom they care about feeling good they they believe that they are not here to struggle they believe that they're here to be happy okay i also see seven of wands i actively hold true to my values so they have spiritual beliefs that they really believe so this is like the real deal spirituality team like it, this is the league here is what i'm saying Ten of Wands, I love and care for myself first. They've, they've learned self-care. Um, again, they're independent, so they had to learn that. Um, Akasha, so your guidance is divinely guided. So definitely tuning more into your guidance. I'm seeing that that's what your soul tribe is doing. So again, you and them are all in the same energy trying to attract. But if we have, let's just say, two people, and they're all on the same frequency of kind of being independent, closed off to themselves, and focused on that then it doesn't really leave room for more to come in and so i'm definitely sensing that your soul tribe is you and you are them and so the more you open up the more they will the more it will connect so let's see what your soul tribe cares about drinking tea resting and burning bowl rituals to let go is on the card this has been a lot of letting go that you've been through, that they've been through. They love to rest. They love to drink tea. They love to be at peace. They are in connection with Karl Marx. So they could want to be um, anywhere in the, the film industry. That's another thing. It could be content, anything with videography, content stuff. They could be into that because we have this. That could be for some of you who desire to do that. So test your theory on human subjects. Be the posthumous life of the every party cut class so i definitely feel like your people could be seen as rebels because they are very different um now the energy of the soul tribe again is journey and indecision so as you make a decision on who you want to become this also creates the frequency of attracting the soul tribe of who you're becoming so as you change your soul tribe changes you attract different people the more you change the more you attract different people and so that's what's happening here as soon as i choose to see the light in the dark corners i redirect my power toward what i want so you are definitely the light and i feel like you are connected to light workers healers um, could have that desire to want to share the light bring the light learn more about the light Okay, so this is the soul tribe. This is really a soul tribe, for real. This is like 
the definition of what a soul tribe should feel like. Very supportive, along the same lines, independent, cares about freedom, has beliefs and moral compass when it comes to just being who they are. Okay, being who they are, believing that they are protected by a higher power. Okay, so they believe they're an old soul. They believe in a lot of things many people don't. So that's how you know that this is your soul tribe because you'll have a lot of the same beliefs, but they also share a lot of the same fears, which could be resisting the tribe from coming together. So strength and guidance. So the biggest thing that I'm seeing for you, deck three, is to trust and believe that you are being guided to your soul tribe, even now through your higher self and also through source. But most importantly, it's just about being open to um, trusting and meeting those those people letting those people in so overall I feel like your soul tribe is a lot like you you'll be able to trust them it'll feel comfortable and I also feel like you have a lot of the same things in common the biggest thing is to make a decision on who you want to become and the more you follow your greatness the more that you attract people that are great again it's the frequency that you're operating on let let's see what the last message is for deck three when it comes to soul tribe king of wheels yeah so your tribe definitely cares about entrepreneurship could be into financial freedom could be into wanting to travel the world okay king of wheels is someone who is a ceo very financially stable this is going to be someone who is not going to leave you with the bill okay and and it's not to say that everyone doesn't come from you know everyone has to progress however you are in a place where you have progressed so much that your frequency is now going to be attracting the same type of person and that person is very stable so this is a stable crew that you can go on a trip with you can do things with and everyone will be able to kind of cover their end as i'm seeing with the king of wheels here so if you guys chose deck number three don't forget to comment down below the purple tribe so that you can connect with other people who are also resonating with the same exact message if you are looking for secret pick a card readings you can find more secrets about your soul tribe in love and finances and all kinds of things at the tarotchest.com all right i'm gonna head over to the last deck deck number four all right if you guys chose deck number four this is your reading and who is your soul tribe all right deck four blue tribe is being led by ancestor the shekinah sacred self unleash your spirit express your gifts and dance to the sacred rhythm of life so your soul tribe could definitely be into dancing music or connected to just expression now let's see what the energy is between the group and then let's see woman holding a heart so love is very significant to this soul tribe I'm seeing that love is very significant, could have walked away from many things in the past energy. So you could be hesitant to meet your soul tribe because they are all tied up. So if you find yourself all tied up, I'm definitely feeling like your soul tribe is all tied up. The energy of your tribe is love and the dragon supernatural, so perfect. So definitely, like I said, that your spiritual soul group or your soul tribe is connected to love. Okay, so they have been through and have experienced many things in their past. I definitely feel like they had to walk away from a lot of things. They have a lot of courage, a lot of strength, and you may find some significance in the things that you guys have experienced. I'm seeing that this group is very wise and into and could be into supernatural things such as dragons and mystics and Egyptian times and Greeks and all things of supernatural world. So this person could definitely be into exploring more knowledge. Um, they definitely believe that they have risen over many things. I'm getting like the Phoenix. They've been through many things. They're very strong. You're going to feel this with, with their energy. Very strong when it comes to love. You can heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. So I definitely feel like the if you guys chose deck four, you could have children. You don't have to. But I definitely feel like your soul tribe could have children. Or if you do have children, then I do see that there's like a different level of experience that you guys are going to share through your parenting. So that seems to be very important as well. All right, let's see where your group is headed. Fall into the arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. So yeah, they had to really, you guys have been through many things that are similar. I'm seeing a lot of extremes to life, having to call back your power, having to learn how to think for yourself, 
not allow anyone to kind of dictate that for you, learning how to be yourself. So your soul tribe is going to allow you to embrace your fullest potential, your, your fullest self without judgment, and also the ability to express these gifts that you do have. Now, how to attract this soul tribe? My super attractor power comes from how I feel, my faith in love, and the joy I put out. So the more that you become yourself, again, yourself becoming the super attractor, believing in the power that you do have to manifest what it is that you want. I do feel like your soul tribe is connected to wanting to create their own reality or believing that they can have uh, what they desire. Let's see what your tribe, what to do to attract your tribe. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. So you and your tribe are learning how to trust the universe more. I feel like every group could pretty much resonate with this message. And I'm definitely feeling like the more that you're expressing your true version of yourself, the more that you will ev eventually attract those type of people. But if you find yourself attracting people of the same type, then that could be a sign that there's a cycle or a karmic cycle that you're breaking. Two of Pentacles, I calmly make the best decision possible. Knight of Wands, I make decisions without pressure. So there is a lot of indecisiveness. So I feel like your tribe is kind of in their head and they're tied up. And this is preventing all of you from coming together, essentially. Um, I choose my battles carefully and transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So your soul tribe has been going through deep healing. And quite frankly, if you have not met them yet, it's because they could be tied up. And I feel like you could resonate with this as well, because there are certain situations that you may have found yourself um, restricting you from meeting more people that are on the same level of joy and faith and love. And sometimes it's because we're entertaining lower vibrations. So you have learned to not hold grudges you've learned how to surrender and let things go so it can make room for fresh new um, experiences in your life so it's really about truly surrendering and so i do feel like you and your soul tribe are going through many many things that are changing on a cellular level um, so before you can meet them a transformation is occurring and again i believe that's with pretty much every deck the cosmic heart devotion potency make your life a moving prayer so this is dedicated so they could have you know made an in uh, a pact to their self they could have made a promise to themselves that they are going to live to their truest potential they're going to fulfill their truest desires i definitely feel like they strongly are looking for what they love what they're devoted to um, most of this is also within themselves because we have the protection call back your power so your soul tribe has been through many experiences where they have given away their power so that's something that I'm sensing too, but spirit is saying, call, call the power that you do have back by believing in yourself. Okay. Believing in yourself is essential to your soul tribe because as you start to believe more in yourself, you start to attract others that also believe in that same self. So again, you're changing at a, a cellular level. These are things that you may not see right away in basically they reflect very slowly in your life so you might not see the changes physically right away but internally there are changes that are happening in your life to attract more joy and love okay now what does your soul tribe enjoy doing connecting with their wound sinking with the moon okay um, so we have a lot of feminine energy here as you can see journaling and also alone time so alone time is something that's really big that I'm sensing they have a really good balance of that or trying to have a good balance of that could have went through many situations of codependency depending on other people and I'm definitely seeing that they're learning to appreciate alone time connecting with the womb is also just being in connected with your creativity what you're creating because remember the womb creates l literally humans you know um, and births human so it's a very significant trait when it comes to creation so i believe that spirit is talking about the soul tribe that's desiring to create more for themselves to be in sync to be better to feel better about themselves okay so a lot of them could be journaling could have dreams about even meeting you before they meet you so some of you could definitely write this down um, of what soul tribe that you're looking to manifest one of love again one that believes in the supernatural 
one that believes that they're a super attractor, that they can attract love and joy in their life and it's not difficult, one who has a positive vibration that when you come around them, they uplift you and they raise your frequency. So I definitely feel that they could be impasse or clairvoyance. And that just means, you know, having a lot of dreams and being connected in that type of realm. Christine Lagarde, over time heals all wounds. Let he who is without debt through the first shade. The world stage is no place for drama. So I'm definitely sensing that you guys could have dealt with a lot of drama or low vibrational friendships, um, ones that didn't want to tell you the truth or maybe just wanted their ego to be stroked. And obviously there's no growth in that. So I'm definitely feeling like you are going to attract more people who will be honest with you and who will really, really be them, their genuine selves. Okay, I think that that's something that has been a struggle in the past is finding people who are truly themselves. Let's see what messages are here. So it's like, I, I feel like these this soul tribe isn't gonna talk about you. They're not gonna have hater energy. They're gonna be very supportive. You're gonna know it. You're not gonna have to question whether or not this is your tribe. You're gonna feel it. Okay, let's see. Nine of swords. Okay nine of wands so yeah you guys have all been through many things some of your stories are kind of the same when you're meeting these people um that's how you know it's it's them and i do sense that there's a lot of harmony here your soul tribe can also be your partner is what i'm hearing for some of you a life partner because i'm getting the woman holding a heart and i'm also getting the four of wands here a lot of this strife that's been created in your life is also been self-inflicted with the five of swords here kind of being hard on yourself thinking that you have to do this all on your own but i'm sensing that spirit wants you to be open to receiving much much more and this isn't going to be from your intellectual ability this isn't anything that you're going to think yourself into give us some traits that their soul tribe would have yeah i see celebration here with the three of three of cups here the star thank you aquarius energy so it could be an Aquarius, could mean an Aquarius. The star card, my favorite card, which is the card of hope, okay? So this, this soul tribe is gonna make you feel like this is your family. It, it feels like a new family. Um, there's a lot of harmony here. There's a lot of unity. You don't really have to explain yourself. They kind of just get you because they are you. So I do sense that there was a, a need for transformation before these hopeful connections could come in. So the star means that this is definitely gonna be someone that you're gonna meet that's a, a, a soul mate, a deep, deep connection. Okay, deep, deep connection. We have yes here. So be more open to the positive things that can happen. Start feeling good about some of these connections, signs and reminders, okay? Start feeling good about some of these connections that you're having with others. And I also feel like spirit is gonna be sending you signs. Four, 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 four is a sign. We have four, <laughs> that's crazy. Four, four. Okay. I'm looking for any other messages here. Okay. Start thinking about what type of friendships you want is what I'm hearing for you, deck four. The blue tribe. Blue tribe. Thank you. Three of swords. Let go of anything that didn't work out. Let go of any friendship that you think should be there. I definitely feel like spirit is making room for new friendships, ones that support. Okay. You're calling back yourself and you're calling back your tribe. Thank you. Six of wands in reverse. Okay. Some of you are going to have a lot of victory and success with your tribe. You might even start businesses with your tribe. Okay. I do see that there's going to be some type of recognition with your tribe. We have the nine of cups here. So there's a lot of satisfaction here. There's also material desire. So your tribe does desire to experience some things that it's, it's not really materially. It's more of, again, the feeling, wanting to feel good, wanting to also be in sync with themselves, wanting to have faith in love, have faith in joy. This also is a tribe where they're learning how to surrender to more. So how to trust more and open themselves up more to love. This love is the universe, the voice of the universe, the guidance of the universe. So these are very beautiful messages that are coming in for you. I definitely see that there's a need to release drama and also a need to just release, you know, people that make you feel bad or heavy. Okay, this has been a common theme with 
many of the decks here today. All right, what else does deck four need to know about their tribe, how to attract their tribe? Move forward with confidence. We have the chariot energy and the seven of cups. I trust myself to see the truth, okay? So yeah, this is being honest with yourself about some of these friendships. Are they really serving me? The more honest with you are with yourself, the more you can move forward and attract a better friendship. I do see there have been friendships on hold for you, as you see with it all tied up. I'm seeing that spirit is wanting you to cut the cords to who you believed was your soul tribe and just allow and feel it and you'll know because it'll feel good i'm definitely sensing that there are a lot of contracts that you have maybe with people um, or maybe who you think should be you know your family but spirit is wanting you to just be open to just love okay and so you are freeing yourself ultimately with the all tied up here and how spirit wants you to free yourself is to let go of all of this heavy energy you see all of this gloom and doom here and embrace all of the brightness here with the victory and the chariot moving forward okay and if they're meant to be in your life they will catch up with you later that's the last thing that i'm hearing for you deck four so if you guys did choose this deck i feel like after you cut these cords um, in your life and only you know what those cords are, it's going to start manifesting uh, the frequency of friendship that you want. And that only happens again as you go through this transformation because you upgrade and now you attract those upgraded. And so, yeah, if you guys chose deck number four and you're looking for more secret pick card readings, you can find them at the tarotchest.com. Um, more readings to help guide you. I'm going to be there actively. So if you guys did choose deck number four, don't forget to comment down below the blue tribe to see who else is resonating with some of the energy that you've been experiencing here and who could be your soul tribe. So if you guys tune into this pick a card reading, thank you for allowing me to be your spiritual guider. I can't wait to see you guys in the next pick a card reading. Wishing you all the love and light.